believe there's no God but Allah and then Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Because I, when I learned about Muhammad, I said to myself that if God chose him to reveal this book, then he's a prophet. He has to be. This book, you don't, you don't, you don't pour water through a dirty pipe and get clean water at the other end. It doesn't happen. You don't pour water in the in the pipe and dirty water in a pipe, and you get the clean water on the other side. So if it's dirty water, it's going to be dirty water. I agree with you. So let us see if Muhammad is dirty or not. And I challenge all those Muslim kids. You know, this guy is a victim, by the way. It's not his fault that he became a Muslim. It is the fault of those who teach in churches because in our churches, they don't teach their kids what Islam is about. So Muslims, they can fish them easy. And if you know any church, they are willing to have us to teach them about Islam. It's very easy. I do not need even to travel. We can teach them through uh, online. So. We will not have a victim like this man, poor guy. He, the Muslims, they fooled him and they became a victim of Islam. And I hope he will watch my videos and he will repent and come back to God. So uh, he just gave a very good thing. He said that if you put the dirty water in a pipe, it's not going to come from the other side clean. So what about we go and examine Muhammad? If he fit for the job to be a clean person, you know, like when you apply for a job, you, you show your resume, right? And your resume is like your fruits. So Jesus, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them, right? So let us examine the fruit of Muhammad. Uh, if, we, if we ask this gentleman, if you have a person, let us say he is your friend. And this friend, he came to your house and he was flirting with your wife. Flirting with your wife. What you will say about him? I will let you, you say the name. I'm not going to say anything. Not only that, by the way, uh, because we as a human, we might do sin, and actually we do sin. But what I'm trying to say, if we do sin, we know it is bad. We know it is guilt. And if you are a good person, you ask God for forgiveness, you repent. Did Muhammad, he asked God for forgiveness for the sin he did regarding flirting with his own son wife? Not only flirting, having sex with her without marriage. And we are going to prove every word we say from the Islamic books. So I advise you guys, if you know this person, please, if anyone know him, send him my video and send him an invitation to debate me. You know, let us save the life of those people who've been deceived. Uh, let me show you. I don't know if, if they taught you a little bit of Arabic. Maybe they taught you only how to say Alhamdulillah, la hawla wa la quwwata la billah. But I am a native Arabic person who grew up all my life in the Middle East, who speak. Actually, my English is not even good enough, uh, but I'm trying my best to, uh, uh, to, to help those who don't know Islam. Uh, so let us go and see now, was Muhammad really a pure water who came from the other side, the pure, or he was dirty and he stayed dirty. Let us go and see from your Islamic books. This is the Quran, and this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I'm using the website so people they will not say uh, this is not a valid source. He's making up his stories, etc. And this is the interpretation of Imam Al Qurtubi. All right. Now I apologize because I don't have it in uh, in English. But if you have the book of Al Qurtubi in English, it should be there. Uh, however, uh, that is not an excuse because still it's an Islamic source and people they can read it. Uh, and if you do not know Arabic, simply you can even take the text as it is and post it in Google Translation. So here we go the story of Muhammad. He came to Zainab bin Tujash. And, and they are describing Zainab. They are saying, not my, not my uh, words. And here it says, when the Prophet, he came to her, فَأَبْصَرَ زَيْنَبَ خائمة. So he saw Zainab standing, and she was white, beautiful, and tall, from the most beautiful women of the women of Quraysh. So here we go, this is the top, the, the pretty queen of Quraysh. She is married to his own son, and Muhammad, he 
is in her house. Fahawiha. Fahawiha. Let me zoom in. Huh? So you see the word if you decide later to go and uh, and ask people about what this word means. Fahawiha. You see this word. Let me make a frame around it. Now, if we ask any Arab person, what Hawiha mean? He fell in love with her. He fell in love with her. And here it says, وَقِيلَ إِنَّ اللَّهَ بَعَثَ رِيحًا فَرَفَعَتِ السِّتْرِ وَزَيْنَبَ مُتَفَضِّلَ فِي مَنْزِلِهَا فَرَأَ زَيْنَبْ فَوَقَعَتْ فِي نَفْسِهِ Allah, he sent the uh, wind and he made the, the, the curtain go so he saw the beauty of Zainab. So he fell in love with her again. And the funny here, the Muslims, they are saying that the one who made that happen, it was Allah. And the funny too, that uh, Zainab, she is so proud over all the wives of Muhammad because she is the one who claimed that Allah he gave her to Muhammad. But as the gentleman in the video, he said, the victim of Islam, this American boy, that you don't put a dirty water in the other side of the pipe and it's going to come pure from the other side. Now, I want to ask you, do you think this is a pure act? Look what I mean here. First of all, this woman, she is married. Second of all, he is a flir fl uh, you know, flirting with her when she is actually he said to her in Arabic Subhana mu'allif al if you read with me here you will see Muhammad flirting with Zainab and saying to her and making her hearing this because how she heard he said that in front of her he said Subhana mu'allif al let me make it smaller all right so when here and here it says Muhammad saying Subhan mu'allif al let me highlight this for you. Subhanallah, muqallib al qulub. In different story, muqallib al qulub, which means, praise be to Allah, the one who made me feel in love with you. So, فَسَمِعَتْ زَيْنَبْ بِالتَّسْبِيحَ She heard him praising Allah for, for feeling in love with her. So she went, look at this whore. Look at this whore. And this is why I say there was something going between this man, Muhammad, and this woman. Because she went to her husband, and she told him that her fa his father is a flirting with her. So Zaid he came to her, came to Muhammad, and he says, Prophet, let me divorce her. Let me, I want to divorce her. Why? Because he already found out that his father, he want to sleep with him, and for sure he's sleeping already with her. The story became like this, like when, when the smell come out, when the cooking is done. So this guy, as they say, the husband is the last one to know. So the husband, now he found out that Muhammad is going to his house and according to his wife, he flirted with her. She did not report more, but who knows who, what happened really. So he asked Muhammad, I want to divorce her. And look what the Quran says to Muhammad. Look at this God, this filthy God, the God of Islam. Look what he said to Muhammad about him and his love to Zainab. Guys, read, and I'm showing you now in English so nobody can say, because I have it in Jalali in English. Uh, this is chapter 33, verse number 37. Allah saying to Muhammad, Why you are hiding your love to this woman? Allah is ask, ask, uh, saying to Muhammad, huh? Why you are telling the man to retain your wife? Supposedly, this is what Muhammad is saying, which is saying to him, You are being hypocrite. You love the women. Huh? And you are saying to him, Retain your wife to yourself. And fear God before divorcing her, huh? But in the same time, you had hiding in your heart what God was disclosed. What God disclosed? He was 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 to manifest of your love to her. Just wait, brother. The pure, the, the, the dirty water will go in, will not come as a pure. So now a person who is a pure. His God, the pure God, 
saying to him, why you are hiding your love to a married woman? Is that what the pure God does? Or this is a fabrication from Muhammad to give himself an excuse that, you know what, it's not my fault. It's even Allah saying to me, take her. You know, you love her and uh, that's it. So why? And, that, and here the story proving two things, actually. Number one, that the woman, she is still married. Number two, Muhammad in love with her. Actually, number three, Allah himself is involved in asking Muhammad to let the man or ask the man to divorce his wife and have her. That you should part with her. Zaid, let Zaid part with her. You know? Okay, let us Zaid to divorce her so you can marry her. Now, I want to ask this gentleman. He said, Muhammad, this is the Prophet. He was crying. The Prophet, he cannot, he cannot be just like a guy like everybody. Like, come on. He's not a guy like everybody. I agree. He is a perverted animal. Imagine your father. Zaid is his son by adoption. And by the way, the Muslim they will say, "Oh, adoption is forbidden in Islam." So why Muhammad did? Oh, for British, for you know, it's forbidden later. So Muhammad he did not accept him as a son no more. You know what? You announce him as a son for a second. Still, he is the same as your son. Secondly, if Muhammad is not a son, what he is doing in the house of Zainab anyway? When the husband is not there, he was inside the house with Zainab alone. For for what occasion? Are you Muslims allowed to spy at women, as an example? Are you Muslims allowed to go inside women's houses when the husband is not there? Are you allowed to look at their beauty? Muhammad did all of those. So he says to Muslims, you cannot look at, 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 uh, uh, at, the, at the wife of somebody, but the fact he was looking at the wife of everybody. Actually, Muhammad, he told the Muslims that when you see a woman and you like her, go and do your wife, which means you are allowing people to get horny, staring at different women, stranger women and then they go and do their wife so this is how it is you stare you stare you stare until you are so horny and then you go to your wife you say take off off your clothes okay take off your clothes i saw a hot woman i want to have sex with you this is a perverted man and you are telling me pure water and dirty water so allah himself is supporting muhammad love story which is fornication because she is married number one number two uh, you know, if we read the Bible, we see that Jesus said, if a man look at a woman, she chose a, a woman, she is not his, he committed adultery in his heart. He committed adultery in his heart. So this is adultery. And on top of that, it's conspiracy against the husband. It is time for Muhammad to have her. And I am sure that Zainab, she went to, because why Zainab, by the way, she went to her husband and told him, oh, the prophet, your father, he said to me, that he is in love with me. Don't you think that this is really weird? Shouldn't she don't try to, 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 to say such a thing? Like, she did not say to him, oh, your father is a bad person, keep him away. No, she is giving him attention that he should leave her so she can marry him. So both of them, they are planning for something. She is working from her side by telling her husband and Muhammad is working by his side by making Quran. And you know, the God of Islam, he have no business to do except to be worried about the sexual life of Muhammad. Muhammad already have many wives. Why he need this one? Like what for? I thought he's in love with Aisha. So Aisha is not enough. He want more. He want more love. Muhammad, he love all the women. And you are telling me about good and bad? In the top of that, before we finish this video, we need to remember something very important. We don't have much time left, really. Uh, but I want to mention here in Sahih al-Bukhari, book number 60, Hayat number 11, how Aisha, she exposed Muhammad, and she is the one who lived with him. She, she, she uh, find, found out right away that Muhammad is a perverted man. Look what she said. I feel that your Lord hastens in fulfilling your wishes and desi desires. What wishes? sexual desires any woman she want to give herself to the prophet to sleep with muhammad he welcomed them so this is a verse from the quran and this is allah wishes supposedly but the fact it is muhammad wishes and this is what aisha is saying allah he fulfill your wishes it is your wishes and right away if muhammad is horny allah will make a verse saying any muslim woman she want to sleep with muhammad go for it 
and they are telling me that Muhammad was a great man and you are crying for me even his wife is exposing him and by the way he did not marry Zainab he have no witnesses in that marriage and all of us we know in Islam any sexual relationship without witnesses of marriage it is not valid it's not a marriage so go and ask your Imam why Muhammad even did not have witnesses when when, uh, when Zainab she asked Muhammad where is the witnesses for our marriage he said oh Allah and Jibreel are my witness but I can sleep with any woman right now and if she asked me where is the witnesses I say Allah and Jibreel are watching us come on man wake up Islam is false and Muhammad is a perverted man spread the video everywhere please and Christ is Lord Islam is false I mean